Hello, everybody out there in the YouTube world. I'm Elric. Welcome back once again to my channel, Tech of Tomorrow. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Camry E2 N150. Now, this is a really small computer, very low priced, pretty much just geared for those looking for an entry level computer. The specs are okay for what it is. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's check out what's inside the box, what's inside the computer. And at the end of the day, could you use this for your PC? Luckily folks, this little computer that I got, it actually comes with Windows 11 installed. But if for some reason you're a person out there and you just bought a new computer or you've changed a lot of parts in your computer and it's saying, hey, you need a new Windows key, well, check it out. I have you covered and so does your CD key. Check this out. Right now, they're having a great sale. You just enter the code TOT20 on their site and you can get a great discount. All you do is go over to their site, start an account, Pick the software that you want to use, either Windows 10 or Windows 11. You pay for it, they send it to you, it installs and it activates every time and it's completely guaranteed. I give you my guarantee as well. Yes, some places you may find it cheaper, but here you're guaranteed to get a code that will always work. So it's like this, buy nice or buy twice. With that said though, check it out. Here's this little cam Rui. So there's probably not a whole lot in the box here. So I have never opened it before. It's a brand new thing. And let me state for the record that um, I have not been paid for this review in any way, shape or form. Uh, they asked me if I'd like to take a look at this. I took a look at another one of those that they sent me before. Really nice little unit. So now let's take a look at this unit. And I always give my complete honest opinions to you guys. I always have. So not a lot in the box, check it out. Just do a simple unboxing. It says right here, mini PC. And we got the little system itself here. Let's see, let me turn it around so you guys can actually see it better. So here, check this out. As I crack the sides here, a little more in focus. So here's the little system itself. Check it out of here, see what else is in the box here. It's like a Christmas present with more and more boxes. So let me try to get this little other box open here for you folks so we can all see it together here right here in the little box right here all the other components let's dig them out here all righty here yeah it looks like we have an hdmi cable right here if you hook up your monitor we've got uh these are little screws and i don't know exactly what they go to yet because well i'm doing the unboxing but we'll obviously get to that later um, i know what it's for though now i think it's for the back plate yeah Here's the back plate. So these are the screws that put the back plate on. So if you want to mount this onto a wall, you can do that, which is actually pretty cool for some instances. What else we got in here? Okay, we got the power cord. So we got the power cord, the HDMI, the screws, the back plate, and yes, indeed, the little unit itself. With that said though, let's get some close-up shots and let's talk about what's actually inside the N150. Getting set up and started with the N150 is really simple. Just hook up all of your peripherals, your keyboard, your mouse, your monitor, turn it on, and when it boots up, Windows 11 is already pre-installed. So all you have to do is go through a couple little clicks and then you will be up and running in the Windows environment where you can set up all your accounts and be up and going very fast and very quickly. One thing cool as well about this computer is that you can access everything very easily. All you gotta do is pop the little top here and then inside is everything that you can access. So if you wanna change the memory or anything else in here, Go for it. It's right here, easy to access, easy to change out. So inside this little bad boy is the latest Intel processor. This is the N150 and it has four cores, four threads and can throttle up to 3.6 gigahertz. This thing is made to be small yet powerful enough to do all the things that you need to do on your desktop. It has a really great amount of RAM, 16 gigabytes. This is all super fast stuff. 
It also features a 512 gigabyte SSD hard drive, plenty of room for some movies and stuff like that. It's also built to run completely quiet and it's made to be efficient in everything that you're doing. This entire unit, the processor and everything was made to be efficient. Going on the internet is supposed to be smoother. Everything that you're doing on this computer is supposed to be smoother. Now, on the front of the computer, it's pretty simple. Let me get this up here so you guys can see this. We've just got the power button, and then we've got two USB 3.0 ports. And what's really cool around the sides of the computer is there are a lot of different things to keep it cool. You can see all of the copper things here. These are all to dissipate the heat away from the CPU and keep it running quiet so that it makes no noise. So it could even actually be used in a recording studio. So if you're somebody who just has an entry level home recording studio, you could actually use this as well because it's very quiet and it has everything fast, fast RAM, fast hard drive, fast processor. It pretty much has everything you need to run a little small home music studio. Now, beyond that on the back, back is pretty simple. You've got your LAN port, and like I said, the LAN is made to be very, very fast as well. All the technologies are getting faster and faster. We all know this as the years go by. And what we're really seeing though more is that the designs are getting so that everything works together better. Instead of being all depend, you know, different things in it, they're making so that everything can work together and just process everything better. Apple has really done a really great job with their silicon. But, you know, AMD and Intel are slowly starting to catch up with their designs as well. So we've got this little single LAN port. We've got a HDMI port, not an SD port. There's no SD card slot in this, which actually kind of to me is kind of the only real negative about this. Having no SD card to me on something like this is a bad design. Apple kicks everybody's butt in this because they have that. And then right below that, I'm going blind as a display port. Then we've got just two single USB ports. And then what's really weird is there's a lock switch on here. So you can lock it. And then we've just right, right here where you plug it in. And that's pretty much it. Beyond that, it's a very simple design. It's got little feet on it to keep it from going around. And as you can see, it's like very, very small. I mean, look my hand. It's literally sits in the palm of my hand. It's pretty much made for people who just want to be in a working environment and have that working environment be completely efficient in what they're doing. And they've succeeded in doing that. The little E2 N150 is a basic, simple computer. It's very, very small, takes up an absolute small amount of desk space. It can be easily put into a bag and taken anywhere you want to go into a backpack. It's really that small and portable. If you had a little small monitor, keyboard, and mouse, you could literally have a PC that you could take anywhere if you had a little battery and be on the go. Now, who would benefit from buying this little PC? Well, kids growing up, it's cool for them to have computers, but I'm not really into kids having computers that are all about going and doing these death games where they're blowing everything up and killing people. Computers like this are really good for smaller children who just want to play simple games, but still be able to be, you know, doing stuff on a computer. You might not really want young children to be on the internet yet because the internet, as we all know these days, is just very, very bad place for many reasons. You know, I'm glad I have fans like you. Um, I love you guys. You're the absolute best. I never see like crazy comments down in, the, in, the, in, in down below where you guys hate me anymore. So man, thank God and thank you guys for that. But this little computer, if you're somebody who's a small child or just somebody who wants to check their email, have a computer to do basic things, go online, you can watch movies, you can do all that stuff, no problem. It will play some basic games. It's not gonna play any hardcore 3D games, but there are so many children's games out there that can be played and mind games, you know, that, that you can play and like make your brain think more. There are lots of those things out there. And for a college student, this is actually a perfect little computer because when you're in college, if you're in the dorm, it is small in there. So having a very little small computer with your nice monitor and a little tiny mouse and everything, you can be perfectly set up. And let's just face it, not everybody is a hardcore gamer. So anybody who's not a hardcore gamer who just wants a computer that's going to be efficient, 
inexpensive, work without problems, has a good warranty, and honestly, it's a pretty decent little machine for the price. With that said though, if you guys want to check out more information or buy one of these little PCs, I will have a link down below where you guys can grab one. And remember, if you don't have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 key, or you just want to buy some software and get a great discount on it, remember, go over to the site that I have the link down below, use the code TOT20 and get yourself a discount. With that said, God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow's for more videos as we continue driving into March. Peace out, people. What you talking about, Willis? I ain't got no PC.